Hi there and welcome to my studio. I'm Lori Taylor and I am back this week with a twofer project. I, again, I'm working with Miriam Zamor's beautiful pea trees. Some that I got my hands on. And so last time we used the pea tree in the book for dawn and this time I'm doing day and night. And both projects are different as night and day. So my first project up is day with the blue pea tree. That was a quick video, I know, and I hope you liked it. You know, the project just came together. I found stuff that I had lying around in the house, and it brought back the memory of that buck as it was leaping the fallen oak that one November day. So here we've got the final project day, and I thought it came out pretty cool. Use the grouse feathers from Grouse It we found that unfortunately didn't survive a great horned owl. And so this one turned out really neat with lots of fun things, spattering and uh, doing some art. You know, you can use magazine or book pictures. It doesn't matter um, to make your book, anything to record a memory or give you that feeling, that sense of an awesome day. Um, I just like to draw and it's good practice. It's good for me to draw and practice. And that was from my field note sketch, which was really like sticks. So the next project up is night.
Well, I hope you enjoyed watching the night video. That one is twofold. This twofer is twofold because this is going to be my contest um, entry and for a book art competition. And I thought, you know, I need to do Miriam's. There we go. We'll do a little t page turn and I'll uh, use Miriam's tea tree and make an art competition. And I was really worried because this involved having exact, and I'm not really exact, having those ovals cut as the windows and jumping through the window, leaping like the owl here, and to take you through the feeling of dream and nighttime. The song, All Through the Night, was one that I sang when I was in elementary school many years ago. And so when I found the music, I thought, hmm, it's got to go for the night book because it's just so beautiful. In fact, while I made the book, I was singing the song, but I didn't record that. Mm -hmm. So anyway, you get to look through the windows and see that awesome tea tree back there from Miriam. And there it is again. So as you look through even the back side, You've got uh, the images of coming through on both sides. So you can see the animals in the front. You can see the animal, oh, not through there, but in the back as you look through. So I thought that was kind of fun. It was a neat challenge, and I enjoyed making both of these books. And next time, now that I have night and day done, next time I'm doing dusk, and that will be a totally different kind of book. So stay home, stay safe, and stay creative. Go find your story. There's stuff running around your house that will remind you of things. You don't have to go far to create story. Look on your shelves, look in boxes, look in bins. You just might find a gem, like a petri, if you dig around. Bye-bye. Oh, thank you to my new subscribers and thank you to my old subscribers. What would I do without you? Don't forget my summer camper book art contest. Get me to 100 subscribers and somebody out there just might win the awesome little summertime camper book art. It's really cute and it's really a book. <laughs>